Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with categorical logic and categorical syllogisms, looking at figure 4, conditionally valid. It's important to note that I did not say this is going to be a 90 second philosophy video because it's not. Figure 4, conditionally valid, has a little bit more going on than the other figures, so we're going to take a little bit more time to talk about it. We're going to double up to a 3 minute philosophy video. Let's take a look. So, figure 4, we remember, looks like this. It has those middle terms going in that backwards slant from the top right corner to the bottom left. And the conditionally valid moods of figure 4 are going to be AEO, EAO, and AII. It's interesting to note that unlike the other figures, there are three conditionally valid forms of figure 4. While for all the other figures, there are only two. It's also important to note, if we remember back to the unconditionally valid forms, Figure 4 only has 3 unconditionally valid, while everyone else has 4 unconditionally valid. Figure 4 is also a little weird, because each of these moods is going to depend on the existence of a different term to be valid. The AEO is only going to be valid if S exists, the EAO is only going to be valid if M exists, and the AII is only going to be valid if P exists. Let's take a look. So, figure 4 valid for AEO. This is only going to be valid if S exists. All airbenders are bald. No bald people are hair models. Therefore, some hair models are not airbenders. This is going to be valid because the only thing that needs to exist is S bald people. Bald people do exist. Therefore, it is valid. Invalid version would be something like all hair models are hair suit. That means they have hair. No hair suit people are airbenders. Therefore, some airbenders are not hair models. That's not going to be valid because airbenders don't actually exist, and it's the subject, even though hair models and hair suit people do. Figure four valid for E A O. This is only going to be valid if M exists. No people with balanced chakras are angry people. All angry people are firebenders. Therefore, some firebenders are not people with balanced chakras. This is going to be valid because M which is angry people, exist. Angry people do exist, so it's going to be valid. Figure 4, invalid, EAO, this is going to be a case where M doesn't in fact exist. No calm people are firebenders. All firebenders are angry people. Therefore, some angry people are not calm people. Firebenders don't actually exist. That's our middle term, so it's not going to be valid, even though calm and angry people do. Finally, figure 4, valid, AII, this is only going to be valid if P exists. All healers are waterbenders, all waterbenders are gentle, therefore some gentle people are healers. Healers are things that exist in the world, so this is going to be valid. However, an invalid version would be all waterbenders are healers, all healers are gentle, therefore some gentle people are waterbenders. Note, waterbenders don't exist, so P doesn't exist, so this is an invalid argument. Whew! That was conditionally valid. Figure 4. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at some Venn diagrams that underlie all of these if you don't want to memorize all the unconditionally and conditionally valid forms. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnadius.org and stay skeptical.